When most of us were in school, disrupting class or using profanity earned you a trip to the principal's office. Yeah, but today in Texas, more students are being sent to court instead, and not just juvenile court. We're talking criminal court. The night beats Andrew Horansky has tonight's special assignment. Imagine what it must be like to be the girl taunted in junior high, the one other kids tease. At South Austin's Fulmore Middle School, that girl is Sarah. Yeah, um, I've been always bullied uh, since second grade. Last February, some kids in Sarah's sixth grade math class told her she smelled, so she dabbed on some perfume. That's when her trouble started. Uh, I didn't do anything wrong. I just sprayed it on because I thought I didn't smell good. Makes you know the whole class complains for no reason. Sarah says her teacher took her out of class and told a police officer assigned to the school that she was being disruptive. That officer wrote Sarah this ticket, a Class C misdemeanor. It cited her for disruption of class and assessed a $150 fine. Sarah's attorney says the tickets are common in Texas and argues they send the wrong message. We're basically criminalizing school discipline. So things that you or I would have been sent to the principal's office for, a child now may receive a ticket for, and they end up in the criminal justice system. Him, very, very young. So he wasn't there. He didn't see it. No. Sarah's mother couldn't believe what happened. I think it's wrong. If you don't see it, how can you say she disturbed the class? A rise in school violence in Texas, like the kind in this YouTube clip, convinced the legislature to get tougher on school crime. In the mid 90s, lawmakers added something called Chapter 37 to the state's education code. It gave every school district in the state the option of creating its own police force. According to Texas Appleseed, an Austin based nonprofit law foundation, it also may have led to an increase in tickets. By 2009, Appleseed estimates more than 275,000 Class C misdemeanor tickets were issued to students, some as young as six. The majority were for bad behavior at school. School police wrote the most in Houston, followed by Dallas, San Antonio, Brownsville, and Austin. The tickets came with a fine of 50 to $500, required students and a guardian to appear in municipal court, and could stay on a student's record. The tickets could also impact a student's chances of getting into college. A uniform application now commonly used in Texas asks if they have ever been convicted of a misdemeanor, a felony, or other crime. To that, the answer would be yes. All of the evidence that looks at really, you know, kind of get tough measures for kids it finds that they are totally counterproductive. Uh, they don't work. They lead to poor outcomes, and um, they're a waste of our resources. Not everyone agrees. And so, yeah, I think it works. Um, does it work every time? No. Does someone who speeds getting a speeding ticket quit speeding? Captain Eric Mendez of AISD Police could not comment on Sarah's case. He says times have changed and that students are engaging in crimes warranting law enforcement. And so our officers need to have the same abilities in a school setting as you would out in the community. Just because you're inside the four walls of the school doesn't mean that the laws change because you're inside the four walls of the school. An assault is still an assault. Possession of marijuana is still possession of marijuana. Still, Texas Appleseed would like to see a minimum age for tickets set to 14. There is support within the Capitol to change laws. I don't believe I'd go the ticket route. I don't, I, just, I don't think we're dealing with criminal justice problems. I think they're school problems. As for Sarah's case, she will soon go before a jury of six adults. They will decide the punishment for an act her mother believes an educator should have handled. Well, I feel like the teacher should have just stopped it right then and there, asked the other students to stop harassing Sarah, asked Sarah to give her her perfume, and just let it go from there. I don't want to let nobody see bad stuff on my record. It makes me feel embarrassed. Embarrassed as a young girl learns a lesson in law the grown-up way. On special assignment, Andrew Horansky, KVU News, Nike. Okay, this 11-year-old girl wore perfume to class. Students complained about it, so she got a $150 fine. What are we doing? No, no. Uh, it's totally unacceptable. And you know what happens is that once they start handing out the fines, then the system has an incentive to do it more and more because it becomes a source of revenue for them. So then they start writing all these cr criminal misdemeanor tickets, as they said, as young as six. 
just to raise money for their church and for their, probably for their division. It's heinous. And then these kids have a criminal record. Second of all, that girl looked like she was being bullied, and then she's the one who gets punished. But yeah. even if she wasn't being bullied and she was disruptive in class, that is not a criminal case. Now, we've lost our minds. And I feel so bad for that kid. First of all, you know, just changing the topic a little bit. When that kid was saying, look, I put perfume on because I thought I smelled. Oh, my God. I wanted to go to that school and open a can of whoop ass. That is not acceptable, okay? You're 100% right, Cenk. This kid feels like she's being bullied. She is being bullied. She's doing something to avoid being bullied, and then she gets punished for it. It's unbelievable. I, I don't... Her mom must be... In just in rage. It's not about justice, it's not about agenda, it's not about mobilizing people, it's about dialing for corporate dollars. These two parties have sold the U.S. government and the American people to the highest bidders.